problem 57 uh, we have uh, an infinitely long cylindrical insulating shell of inner radius a and outer radius b has a uniform volume charge density so this object is not a conductor it's a uniform charge density the charge will be distributed at any point inside the body of the shell okay in this case we talk about rho a line of uniform linear charge density uh, lambda is placed along the axis of the shell so we have a cylinder shell it's empty inside with a certain thickness and inside we put a line of uniform charge density lambda we have to calculate the electric field at these positions uh, let me first of all uh, draw here uh, we have r uh, n equals to a and r out equals to b and we have to calculate the field at r less than a between b and a and at position r greater than b okay as you see here we have the cylinder and we take the internal uh, internal radius and uh, here okay we take here we have the internal and the external here we have a and b okay uh, we have a road between let's say this a road at the center okay one dimension road it's small here the uh, the road has uh, lambda as a uh, charge density and here the cylinder has uh, rho here listen uh, the thickness of the cylinder is here okay inside is empty here it's empty we can uh, here is empty we have only the thickness here okay so uh, first of all one we have to calculate uh, the field uh, at r less less than a so uh, between the road and uh, this point let's say at the point a capital a you know the thickness of the road is negligible because it's one dimension road okay first of all you have to calculate as a point a uh, second we uh, calculate between a and b it means inside the shell inside the body of the shell okay not inside in the hole in the uh, hole just in the body of the shell i mean here in the point b and r is greater than b it means at the point c okay let's begin with the point a at a in general if you want uh, the line if we want to calculate the uh, field created by the line 
we have to choose uh, a cylinder uh, Gaussian as a Gaussian, as a Gaussian surface. Uh, we have to say uh, to calculate at the point B, at the point A, uh, by symmetric. We select a cylinder of radius uh, R as a Gaussian. surface okay let's draw this surface as you see here uh, we have this one the red is the Gaussian surface you have to write the conditions uh, first of all, uh, about E, must be perpendicular to DA, and we can, and uh, E, no, excuse me, DA, E is parallel to DA, E must be radial, and E constant, okay? Uh, you see here, uh, this is the uh, Gaussian surface and A is like this, DA. DA. Uh, the, uh, the lines is positively charged, so E must be out, out. This one is E. So as you see here, E and DA are uh, parallel. Uh, in general, the flux equals to integral E DA equals Q in divided by epsilon. Here uh, for the uh, cylinder, the chosen cylinder, we have uh, three sides. We have part one uh, at the top. We have the top. Th uh, we have the lateral side and we have the bottom. Okay, here we have the bottom. You know, uh, DA for the top is like this. DA for the bottom is like this. For these two sides, uh, E is perpendicular to DA, like this. So here the angle equals to 90. In this case, we can say directly phi uh, one equals to phi three equals to zero. So phi total equals only to phi two. Just the flux will go through only the lateral side of the cylinder because we have the line like this and the field will go out of the line in all direction. In this case, the field will be at any point perpendicular with DA, uh, parallel with DA. Uh, we can say here uh, integral E DA equals to uh, DA cosine zero, okay? Because E and DA are parallel, look here equals to Qn divided by epsilon zero. Uh, e is constant, we get out E, 
So finally, EA equals to QN divided by epsilon. This is part concerns only Gauss's surface and QN relates only to QN, okay? Uh, the area of uh, Gauss's surface, as you know, I take only the area of the lateral side. I don't take the area of the top and the bottom because we don't have a flux uh, on the bottom, uh, through the bottom and the top uh, um, area. So the area of the lateral side equals to the perimeter of the ring times the height of the cylinder, okay? The length of the cylinder. Here we have two pi r times L, the length of the cylinder, and L uh, r is a radius of this one. Okay, and Qn is a charge which is uh, exists inside the Gaussian surface. Inside the Gaussian, we have uh, this Q, okay? From here to here. Of length L, the same length as the cylinder, okay? From here to here, we have L. And also the length of the cylinder equals to L. And you know, uh, the road has a linear charge density. So we have lambda L, okay? We substitute the value of A and, Q, and QN in uh, the flux equation. We get finally flux equals to, uh, or we can calculate directly E equals to QN lambda L divided by a two pi r l times epsilon zero. We can cancel l and l. We get l or lambda divided by two pi epsilon r. Uh, to get k in the equation, we can multiply by two and we divide by two. Okay, here we get two times two equals to four times pi times epsilon zero, we get uh, one divided by four pi epsilon zero equals to K. We can put K, substitute K. Uh, so E finally equals to K, uh, 2 k, we have here 2 k, the value of uh, 1 uh, divided by 4 pi epsilon 0, lambda over r. This is the field created uh, at the point in the interior, at the point or in the region, in the zone between the road and the internal radius of the cylinder, okay? Now we are uh, in this region here, at any point here, okay? At any point here. Uh, so we can write finally, four, are uh, less than a, we have e equals to 2k lambda divided by r, okay? Why I take only, uh, why I, I take only the, uh, the field created by uh, the road because uh, the cylinder is positively charged. 
the field created by the cylinder uh, is going out. And inside the Gauss's uh, surface, we have only the field created by the road. Okay, uh, look here. We have the field from the road only. We don't have a field coming from the uh, external, from the shell. Okay. Now, uh, let's go to the part B. Uh, B, if R is between B and A. What I mean by B and A, B is the external uh, radius and A is the internal radius. So we have to calculate the field between the external and the internal radius, okay? As you know, uh, this shell is not a metallic object. It's a conducting, it's a, a uniform charge object. In this case, we have the charge will be distributed at any point in, inside the shell. Because if the object is a metallic object, we don't have any field inside the metallic object. Uh, so uh, we need to calculate the field inside the shell uh, at the point B. So we are calculating at the point B. And we have to follow the same uh, uh, the same uh, calculation, we have to use a cylinder inside the shell to calculate the field at the point B, okay? Uh, at the point B, let's me draw the uh, cylinder. The point B, as you see, the shell is positively charged. So the charge will be uh, the field created by uh, by the charge will be out. Okay. Uh, as you see, uh, we can follow the same procedure. Here we have uh, side one and down we have side, uh, let's say uh, here we have side two and side three at the bottom. Okay, I don't want to repeat. Uh, we don't have a flux at the top and the down. Uh, we have just a, a flux at the lateral side, okay? The flux total equals to the flux two. And we can say directly flux one equals to flux three equals to zero because dA is perpendicular to E, okay? Uh, equals to Q in divided by epsilon. Okay, uh, now uh, flux two equals to integral E times dA equals to Q inside divided by Epsilon, okay? Uh, e, dA is out, and also E is out, okay? Because it's a positive charge. We have a positive charge of the shell and a positive charge of, um, of the uh, internal road line. Here we have uh, E, and DA. Okay. Uh, and E and DA are parallel. In this case, and E is, is, is a constant value. We can say directly E DA cosine zero equal to QN epsilon. EA equals to QN divided by epsilon, okay? A is the area of Gaussian surface. 
the area equals to 2 pi r times the height. If you have flux on the top and the bottom, you have to add the area of the top and the bottom. But here we have just the area of the lateral side. Uh, the area equals to 2 pi r times l. Uh, so a equals 2 pi r times l and qn here we have qn comes from the internal shell here uh, on all the direction okay plus qn comes from the line so we have to say qn equals to lambda l from the road plus uh, qn comes from the uh, shell here uh, for the line we have a linear charge density but for the shell we have a volume charge density the volume the charge density how can we calculate the volume okay here we have to know uh, how can we calculate the volume of this part you know we have a cylinder uh, this part of the cylinder to calculate this part we have to uh, uh, because here you can say rho times volume n okay anyway volume n this volume to calculate this volume you have to calculate the total volume minus the volume inside okay i mean uh, you have uh, the volume n equals uh, just here equal pi r square r is the radius total from here to here total minus the hole the shell you have the hole it's it's empty inside so we have to reduce the inside volume let's say here we have a so here we can say vn vn equal pi r square uh, you know the volume of the cylinder equal pi r square times l okay minus the volume inside equals to pi a square times l like, like this we calculate only the volume of q of this part only let me explain uh, with two dimension if you have this shell okay i want to calculate only uh, the volume of this part what we have to do we calculate the total volume from here to here minus this empty volume the total volume here uh, of radius r and the internal empty volume of radius a so this volume here equals pi r square times l the length of the cylinder minus pi a square times l okay we substitute the value of vn 
and uh, a the equation we get uh, e times a a equals to 2 pi r l uh, equals to qn qn equals to lambda l times rho vn equals to pi r square l minus pi a square l okay divided by epsilon zero excuse me here we have plus okay plus so uh, e times 2 pi r l equals to uh, lambda l plus we take l out um, okay and pi take l and pi out of the uh, parentheses here we have a row pi l inside we have r square minus a square okay divided by epsilon we can cancel l l and l and we get finally e equals to 2 pi r epsilon lambda plus rho r square minus a square. This is in the case uh, of the field inside the shell between the radius A and B, okay? Okay, now uh, the last part, we have to calculate the field outside, outside the uh, shell. Uh, if R is greater than B, so we have to calculate the field at a point, uh, let's say, at the point here, at the point C. We have to follow the same procedure. We have to draw a Gaussian surface as a cylinder passing uh, by the point C. Okay. At the point C, we have DA. And also we have E. Uh, in the same direction okay we don't repeat just in general we have phi equals to integral of e da equals to q n divided by epsilon okay uh, e and da have the same direction we get finally uh, okay here we have E dA cosine zero. So E is constant. We have final EA equals to Q N divided by epsilon. A is the area of Gaussian of this uh, Gaussian surface. 
the area of this one equals to 2 pi r times L. So A equals 2 pi r times L. You know r is the distance from the center. Okay. And QN, it's very important now to know how can we calculate QN. Inside the Gaussian, we have uh, we have okay we have uh, this part of the road so equals to lambda l plus uh, this part of the shell okay the volume of this part equals, okay, let me draw also. Here we have the shell. I want to calculate this part, okay? This part of the volume equals the total volume, the total volume minus the internal volume. So the total volume of the cylinder times H times L equals pi. Here we have uh, the volume in equals the total volume pi pi uh, the external radius is b so we have pi b square times l minus pi the internal here we have b here we have a pi a square times l why times l because the length of the cylinder i calculate the volume of this part along the cylinder okay okay let's uh, substitute the volume vn we get finally uh, e okay so uh, e equals to QN, uh, we have QN lambda L plus rho times VN, okay? Uh, pi equals to lambda L plus rho uh, VN we have pi b square l minus pi a square l, okay? Divided by a to pi r l times epsilon zero, okay? Here we can uh, cancel pi was uh, pi pi and pi and also l l l and l we get the final relation lambda plus rho b square minus a square divided by two epsilon zero. This is in the case of R is greater than B. So it's very important. It's very uh, important to understand how uh, can we choose QN and which volume we take, which uh, we have a conducting or we have a uniform object.
because you have a big difference between the QN and uh, the case of uh, uh, between the conducting object of a uniform object. Okay. Here we have one mistake. Uh, we have we cannot we have pi here. Okay, we have pi. You cannot um, uh, cancel pi. So let me write again. Uh, we have lambda plus rho pi b square minus a square. And here we have two epsilon zero pi and small r. Okay, this is the relation of the field. Okay, it's important. Thank you.